So what's in the news today? Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So today I got in the semi light kit. I am ready to start building my trailer. For some reason I thought this thing was going to be huge. The box on Amazon looked very big. But seeing it now I understand. It doesn't really need to be that big since so it's only four lights and kind of a hookup. So here's everything that's in the kit. There's also some directions. But you get a receiver plug. You get the actual plug itself with the male plug-in. And you get a couple ground mitts. Probably just slide the wires through. There are a couple screws with a couple nuts. And that's about it. This looks to be double-sided tape. And then the actual directions. Ah, so if I had the box, I would need the ground mitt in order to punch a hole, run the wire through, run it to the rear of the truck. But I have the flatbed, so I'll have to see how all this goes together. And when I get down to it, I can plug plug into my multifunction unit. And then everything is set up. So looks like the top of the cab will get the plug-in piece. So whenever I want to hook up the trailer, just plug it in, go on my way. So I now have everything I need to make my trailer. Pretty exciting. So what I'm going to do to get started on this is get the support legs built. So all that's done, and then when I go through and actually build the trailer, the support legs will be ready to throw on. First thing I need to do is build the battery cases. So I'll go ahead and do that. Alright, so the battery boxes are together. I'm going to move on to building the switch box. And I can't seem to find that switch plate anywhere. I checked all over the place. So I'm going to skip that, build the box, and then see if I really need that switch plate at the end of the day. So the inside of the box is built. Just going to apply some grease to this little slide and put on the cover with a couple screws. And this step is done. And now I'm on to step nine. I'm going to go ahead and put on the gear case. So this requires the installation of you know, the gears, gotta grease them up, gotta set up this little pin here, and also get the motor set up with the wormy gear, everything else. Pretty extensive step, but I'll get it all done. All right, so it's really cold outside, my heater kicked on, but here is the assembled little gearbox with the motor inside, so now I'm ready to move on to step 10. Step 10 has me wiring the batteries in with the gearbox and the switches. So the directions say when you feed the wire through the holes, you're supposed to hold everything in place with a little rubber grommet. I think I'm going to just go ahead and use solder. Hold the wires in place with a little bit of solder, not worry about this rubber. So every time I put the rubber piece on, it backs off. So get everything soldered up and I'll be good to go. Alright, so I soldered on the wires and they're not going to go anywhere. So now I'm good to go ahead and move on. And by the picture, everything is hooked up. So I have the switch. I'm going to see if everything works. Moment of truth. I think we're good. Also too, if I move this little selector, it's hard to see on camera. Here it is. If I move that forward, that'll activate the legs as well. So I think I can hook this switch up. But I don't think I need to use this switch. I think everything is more so controlled when the trailer hooks up to the coupler. We'll see. So looking through the directions, actually it has me hooking what I just built up to the actual trailer. And of course, I didn't start building my trailer yet. I'm doing all this to try to get a little bit ahead of the game. So what I'll do is I'll skip ahead to step 14. 14 actually has me putting the legs together. So I'll do 14, 15, 16, and yeah, actually there I'll stop at 16 to 17 and 18. Have you put the legs onto the trailer. And I still never found that switch plate. All right, so 14 has you putting together the legs. There is the, you have these pieces here that fit inside the plastic leg itself. And it has little gears on there to help them go up and down. So I'll go ahead and get step 14 done. Okay, so step 14 is done. Got the gears assembled, got the legs done. Oops, gotta put it back together. The legs are more done. And I'm moving on to step 15. So the two legs are built. Moving on to step 16. This is real easy. Just a couple pads have to go into the bottom of the assembly. And I got two joint cups to put on. And I think I'll be done as far as the support legs go. Actually start getting into building the trailer. Alright guys, so that's about all the time I have for tonight. So I'm going to end this video here, but if you liked what you saw, please click that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I will be putting this trailer together over the next few days. 
I will definitely post as I put it together. Have a great day and I will see you all soon. Take care for now.